I'm Jordan Wolf, and you're watching Lacrosse Magazine. Offense left a really good second quarter. Wolf three, Wolf shoots. He does it again. Jordan Wolf scores. We're going to talk about uh, dodging from X and kind of what I think about when I'm going you know, to dodge a defender. The first thing I think about when I'm going is where his front foot is. Uh, you want to be running you know, full speed. Like I see, I see a lot of guys you know, jog up to their fenders, and uh, you want to be athletic. You, know, you want to use your athleticism as much as possible. Uh, the first thing I look at is his front foot, so I try to attack that front foot as much as possible. I always tell young attackmen, you know, I know where I'm going, the defenseman doesn't. So I try to you know, run right at his, front, you know, his top foot and try to make his hips move and try to get him off balance as much as possible. Above goal line extended, I just really start thinking. I used to think only like, what am I doing? And now I try to think well, how my defense is playing. You really got to read his body position. You got to know if you have a step. And you know, like I said, if you're coming around the crease and he's trying to meet you, he's obviously lunging, he's extending, he's trying to catch up to you. So I try to, you know, I'm, I'm a small guy, but I'm, you know, I'm low to the ground. I try to embrace that contact as much as possible. And you know, if he catches up and plays good D, that's okay. We play a lot of good defensemen, you know, in Major League Lacrosse. Um, you got to feel where your defense is playing you. So. I always think, you know, is he playing me up top? Can I inside roll? Is he playing me behind me? Can I rock her? So I just really, really try to think of how my defense is playing me more so than what I'm going to do. You never want to predetermine uh, what move you're going to do or how you're going to approach it. So you really have to adapt you know, on the fly. I guess when you got him beat pretty bad is when a jump shot's good because, you know, he's behind you. It's a pretty accurate shot. It's tough for the defenseman, the goalie to see because your stick's behind your, your head. Um, that's a shot I've been practicing, you know, forever. Like my jump shot's not completely yet. I've been working on it. Since high school, I've been repping it, you know, hundreds and hundreds of times, and that's really, really important. You want to get used to where you are in the field, how the fences are playing you, and that just comes by practice. You really got to rep it as much as possible in practice and games. That's probably the most important thing. And you know, once you do that, you know where you are on the field. It gets a little easier in games. Yeah, I've always been, you know, since day one, the smallest probably attackman, um, and that's okay. You know, across one of the sports where it doesn't matter how tall you are, but it matters, you know, how tough you are, how how fast you play. That's something I've always taken to heart, I think. Um, like I said, we play a lot of you know, 6'5", rangy defensemen, and you know, when I'm getting low to the ground and I'm bending my knees, it's very tough for them to get on my hip and drive me out. So I try to use that as much as I can to my advantage, get nice and low, embrace that contact, come around the net, and just use my size and my advantage. Just knowing your hard work paid off because you've been working on that in the offseason and practice uh, is always a good feeling. So it's, it's a shot I've been you know, using my whole life, and you know, it's always good to stick one of those. Hi, I'm Alice Mercer. I'm a defender on Team USA, and today I'm going to talk about knockdowns and interceptions and starting the fast break from there. Uh, we're going to go from the autograph section, sign a couple balls, and we're going to go grab some direction. 